I am Professor Bosco, uh, Jean Bosco. Uh, I am the director of Siemens Training Center. I am here to present one of the projects. We are working on the industry 4.0. This is digital twin technology, whereby we are using elevator to be able to see how can you use a digital twin technology in the security system, whereby you have uh, an elevator. Maybe you have a very tall building. You cannot be able to control people coming to the building or you cannot be able to see the position of the rift. So you want to make sure that all the information regarding the rift and the job it is doing, you are able to see directly from your computer. So this is uh, the digital twin, which goes with Industrial 4.0 in the area of virtual or mixed reality. My name is Samuel Tege. Uh, I pursued mechatronics, mechatronics in VSC uh, mechatronics systems. And I also did Siemens uh, mechatronic system uh, until to professional level. And I'm here to introduce uh, digital twin technology where you have a uh, virtual, virtual machine and a uh, little machine being able to learn together in real time. So we have a physical machine here and our virtual machine on the PC and we can be able to learn both of them at a uh, little time by calling the flaws. If you look at the physical machine and the little machine and the virtual machine so you will see that they are all going simultaneously. Uh, my name is Andrew Kibor. I've completed my five years in BSc Mechatronics Engineering and I've also been a student of uh, the Siemens Mechatronics System Certification Program uh, level three or rather the professional level. Uh, for our elevator that we created or that we developed uh, the two critical uh, critical components of it were the digital twin and also the cyber physical part. And when we talk about the cyber physical part, it's synonymous to the industrial Internet of Things, in in a way that data is sent from the real system to the cloud or to the internet, and from there processes are uh, it may be processed in a cyberspace. So apart from having the real machine in the physical world, the digital twin handles the virtual world but there's also a cyberspace to it. And our cyber aspect of it is actually the web, which is really uh, built on top of the underlying protocols such as HTTP. And to further make our elevator more secure uh, in line with our objectives, we had, the, we had uh, the neural network aspect of it, where we have a camera that can, perform, can look at objects and make out what the object represents. If it is an object of, uh, if it is a harmful object, uh, signals may be sent online, and the control system, which is our PLC, can look at the, those uh, signals and be able to interpret it. Whether, or, or rather, it can be able to look at the signals and know how it will influence uh, the operation of the elevator as a whole. Here we have our web interface um, that can that gives uh, insights to what is currently happening uh, on the lift assembly, and you could see that there's a there's a there's a side that deals with the information from the lift, and there's another side that gives the actions that can be taken on the lift. Uh, currently, we see we are in the third, we are in the first floor, and in order to go to the next floor, we can click the second floor button. Now the lift moves to the second floor. To go to the third floor, we can still click the third floor button. And also we have some of, we have the emergency button and disable uh, button. Uh, with the emergency button, the lift will be halted and its operations will be uh, disabled. And with that, uh, a red light will be blinking at a frequency of two hertz. And so when I click it, uh, the light is blinking, as you can see, and I cannot call any other floor, as you can see. They are all uh, disabled. My name is Roger Slamat. I'm a project coordinator, and this is one of our ongoing projects, a cyber physical elevator system. This project was inspired by Industry 4.0, industry which is a new phase of industrial revolution, which focuses mainly on interconnectivity, automation, Internet of Things, and uh, digital twin technologies and other areas. Our project focuses mainly on the digital twin technology and the Internet of Things. What is a digital twin? Digital twin is the replica of the physical system 
uh, to make basically a virtual system. So by bridging the physical system and the virtual system, the data is able to be transmitted seamlessly, which now enables the virtual system to exist simultaneously as the physical system runs. And what's the importance of this in our project? We had uh, about four major objectives of this project. One was to be able to remotely control the elevator system. Another one was to, uh, to be able to control it remotely and monitor it. Another one was it's geared towards safety, uh, security, maintenance issues, which are not in the existing elevators as of now. The work of uh, the digital twin here is to enhance the safety in our elevator system. Let's take, for instance, uh, the elevators that are applied in the mines. The ones that are existing right now are, per se, they are blind. You cannot be able to monitor it remotely or, or, or see or tell the position of the lift. But with this technology of digital twin, we'll be able to see if in any case it's stuck somewhere, you can be able to tell the status and the position where it is at that moment so that for issues of troubleshooting and maybe restoring it to work, you, you can tell it easily. Uh, another thing is the maintenance. Our system is able to log data, which now in case of any fault, a technician or any other person that is coming to correct the fault can be able to trace the error and tell the time and the kind of error and now will be, it will be easy and flexible for the maintenance and the troubleshooting of this system.